In this tutorial, I'll show you how to determine the order and rate constant of a reaction. Question 1 reads, consider the reaction between nitrogen dioxide and carbon monoxide. The initial rate of the reaction is measured at several different concentrations of the reactants with the following results. And from these, we have to determine the rate law for the reaction and the rate constant K for the reaction as well. Let's begin with question A. You can find the reaction order for any reactant by substituting any two initial rates and the corresponding initial concentration into the ratio of rate laws to determine the order n. The equation that I'm referring to, the ratio, is shown on your screen and we will pick any two of these initial rates to represent rate 2 and rate 1. For the reactant NO2, which is what we're starting with, use the first and second concentrations and rates because NO2 changes here but CO, the other reactant, is constant. So I'll replace those values into this formula where I have 0 0.0082 over 0 0.0021 and that's equal to our constant K multiplied to rate 2 for nitrogen dioxide, its molarity is 0 0.20. When we place those square brackets around numbers we're referring to its concentration and in our case here we're dealing with molarity which is moles per liter. That is being raised to the power of n over, and don't mind this 1 and 2, those subscripts just represent the rate. At the bottom we have k times the concentration of rate 1, 0 0.10 raised to the power of n. What we have to do now is solve for n. Notice that the two k's cancel out, and we can also divide these two numbers using our calculator, 0 0.0082 divided by 0. 0 0.0021 that gives us roughly 3.9 and I'll carry more numbers just so that we don't run into any rounding errors 3.9047 and on the right side you do need to know a little bit of algebra for this this is the same thing as saying 0 0.20 over 0 0.10 raised to the power of n the easy way to solve for n is to either law on both sides or log both sides. That's strictly up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and law on both sides, just like that. And what this will do using the rules of logs, this n will become a product. So the left side stays the way it is, and on the right side we end up with n times ln of this stuff. Let's go ahead and solve for n by first taking ln of this number and dividing it out by whatever the ln of that is. So I'll write down ln 0.2 divided by 0.1 and we get an n value of 1.965. 1.965 is equal to n. We can round this up to an integer as 2. This number tells us that the reaction is a second order reaction in NO2. Let's see what we learn about carbon monoxide. Once again, we'll use the exact same formula and notice that from here to here, the concentration of carbon monoxide stayed the same. So we don't want to use these two rates. Rather, we'll use these two rates. So I'll call this rate two, this one, and I'll call this one rate 1. We have 0 0.0083 over 0 0.0082 and that's equal to k times the concentration of rate 2, 0 0.2 over k times the concentration of rate 1, 0 0.1. Another reason why this is a good selection is because during this change, nitrogen dioxide didn't change. So you want to look out for that. You want to pick rates where there is not a change in the other specimen versus the one that you're looking at. We'll cancel this out just as before. And just as before, we'll solve for n. So I'm going to do this quickly now that you know what to do. 0 0.083 divided by 0 0.0082. And I'll take the lawn of this number divide it by the ln of 
the quotient of those two, so 0.2 divided by 0.1, and this should give us n. Notice that this number is really small. This actually tells us that n, if we round it, gives us 0. This means that the reaction here for carbon monoxide is a zero order reaction. For part B, to determine the rate constant for the reaction, we have to solve the rate law for K and substitute the concentration and the initial rate from any one of the four measurements. So to make things simple, we'll use the first measurement. So we have rate is equal to K times a concentration. Let's use the concentration of nitrogen dioxide, 0 0.10 to the power of n. We know the rate, it's 0 0.0021, and we also know the order of the reaction. It happens to be two, so I'll replace that with a two. And all I have to do is solve for this k. So 0 0.10 raised to the power of two. Divide both sides by this factor, we end up with 0 0.0021 divided by the number that I just found, and we get a constant of 0 0.21. 0 0.21. What are the units here? That's not hard to determine. The units here were molar per second. The units here were molars. So if we're squaring this number, we end up with molar squared. And by dividing mole per second by molar squared, this will cancel out with this. We reciprocate the second number, and we end up with 1 over m times s. And those are the units for the rate constant. If you'd like to see the solution to question number two, make sure you watch part two of this series. We'll see you soon.